Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to do an empties video for you. And for you that don't know what an empties video, it's basically where I go through a bag like this. It's pretty big. Um, through all the empty products that I've used up in the past couple of weeks and months. And I'll give like mini reviews on them, whether they were good or not, or whether I would repurchase them or not. So let's jump in and get started. Um, there, it's quite a few, a few products and it's a big bag. So what I think that I'm going to do is that I'm going to split it into two parts. No particular order, just whatever, halfway through the bag, I'll, um, I'll cut it. And then another day, I'll continue to do the bottom half of the products. Um, they, they're not in any order, like I said. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it and get started. First thing I have is skincare. This is the Purity Made Simple by Philosophy. And this is a one-step facial cleanser, which means it cleanses your face at the same time that room removes makeup. It has an Allure's Reader's Choice Award. Show that. So basically what this is, or what it says it does, it deep cleans, pores, eliminates makeup buildup, it hydrates as it melts away all your makeup, it contains deep cleansing agents, it's a natural oil extract that will help condition the skin, it's fragrance free formula, and it contains a property of blend of extracts for a unique fresh scent. Um, the fresh scent, I would definitely say it's spot on. It does smell very fresh and clean, which I really like. And overall, this product, to me, is amazing. It works great. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, I just, I love this so much, so much. It's just an amazing cleanser. Um, it removes makeup amazingly, and it's great for your Clarisonic. You put a little on your Clarisonic and just cleanse your face off. And then after that, if I have a little bit of, like, eye makeup left, I just go with a tiny little bit and kind of, like, wash off my eye but I just this stuff is amazing the only downside what I have to say is the price it's a little on the pricier side um but it's amazing and I think it's worth every penny and I love it it's amazing so I really like this stuff the purity um the next thing I have is a, a moisturizer a body moisturizer this is by tree hut and it's just a body lotion um the smell is uh passion fruit and guava and oh my god the stuff smells amazing you guys i just can't get enough of it and the smell lingers on you for hours it's just it's an amazing uh lotion it's super moisturizing it feels great but it doesn't feel like overly greasy um because i hate lotions that leave you super greasy i don't like that this like uh, goes right into your skin and it just feels amazing i really like it i just bought another one of this because i'm completely out um and i bought the mango scent but uh, the formula as far as the formula goes it's amazing the smells varies um this smell was amazing and the mango one is amazing as well um but as far as the product goes it's just an amazing product and it's really affordable i got this at ulta and um it was like $5.99. I mean, not expensive at all. And for the quality and the smell, and I mean, it's just an amazing thing. So I really, really like this. And I did repurchase this because I just bought a new one. So I really like that. Next thing I have is also um, skincare. And this is the MAC Mineralized Charged Water Eye Cream. Um, there's not much any left in there. But basically what this is, it's a um, water-based lotion cream and then you put this under your eyes and um I did like this I thought it was good um I don't think it was like magical or anything like that and I didn't see a huge difference it's very obviously water-based because it's a charged water so it's very watery it's not thick um so I don't know if I'm going to be running to go get another one of this. I thought it was good. And then towards the end where I was almost out, I was using this as a kind of like a, after I would do my eyes and, you know, you get fallout from dark colors or whatever, I would get a Q-tip or I would get um, a little cotton rod and I would kind of smooth everything out you know kind of take it off with the lotion and it since it's moisturizing it would kind of help to um, moisturize my under eye area so that's kind of what I was using it towards the end because I didn't see a big difference um, as far as 
my eye under eye goes or anything like that. So I thought it was an okay, um, just I don't think I'm going to repurchase this. I didn't like completely go crazy for it. The next thing I got is the Herbal Essence. Um, this is new from their new line. It's their Naked line, and this is the cleansing conditioner and the smell um, lavender. The smell is amazing. It lingers on your hair. You will probably smell it all day, which I love about it. Um, and, and it's super moisturizing. It's very thick, moisturizing. It's amazing. If you're new to cleansing conditioners, um, the theory is basically you... You know how you're not supposed to shampoo your hair every day. So say out of the week you shampoo your hair twice or three times a week. Well, one of those, you would skip the shampoo and the conditioner and you would just use this because it's a cleansing conditioner. So it cleanses your hair, but at the same time, it deeply conditions. The way I've used it, and I've mentioned this in my favorites, I believe it was last month or the month before that um, on my blog on Rose Bella Beauty, which will be linked below. And um, I mentioned how much I love this stuff and how I use it is I shampoo my hair and then I put this in it. It's kind of like a um, second cleansing, but at the same time, it's very conditioning, kind of like a thick, condition, deep repair mask type of thing. That's kind of how I use this. And then after that, I'll just put like my regular light like, conditioner on it. And it's so, after I use this, it's oozy so easy to detangle my hair it leaves it soft and super manageable so I love this stuff and I do have a new bottle of this that I just recently bought um so I will continue to buy this um this is I believe the fourth or third bottle that I've gone through I mean I love this stuff I think it's really really good so that's that next thing I have is also hair this is the garnier fructis triple nutrition um and this is meant for dry damaged hair um this is supposed to have three different type of nourishing oils which are avocado um olive oil and almond oil and it's supposed to deeply uh, nourish and restores for restores for stronger smoother and silkier hair well this promises a lot and i was very excited for it um but I was a little disappointed. I mean, I love the smell. It smells amazing. and it, But I didn't feel like it left my hair any more conditioned. I didn't feel like it le left my hair any more nourished or anything like that. It, honestly, I felt the complete opposite. It felt very drying. Um, and it just, I didn't like it. And I didn't finish like the complete. I mean, I have very little bit left. But I was just kind of done with it. Um... As far as the conditioner goes, which accidentally I threw it away, but the conditioner I love, um, and that one I feel like it works really well. It does leave my hair really soft, um, so that I really liked. But as far as the shampoo goes, I'm not crazy about this. So definitely I will not be repurchasing this because I just didn't, I didn't like it. It did nothing for me. Um, I have another skincare item here, and it's uh, by the brand Pacifica. It's natural skincare so they're supposed to have i'm trying to see if i can get focus there we go um it's a seafoam complete face wash and what that means is that basically it removes your makeup it cleanses your face and it tones at the same time which i think it's kind of cool it will help you skip um a couple of steps in your you know your skincare um routine whether it's morning or nighttime um, it's for all skin types. It's a uh, sulfate free and it's also made with coconut water. That's why it smells just like coconut. It smells really, really good. It's a good coconut smell. Um, I really, really like it. Like I said, it's for all skin types. It's a hundred percent vegan and cruelty free as well. Um, so this stuff, it was really good. It's more like a gel consistency. I don't know. It's kind of like a gel consistency, which I like. It's great to um, use with your Clarisonic. Um, I just really, really like this stuff. It's great. My only downside to this would be that it's um, after you use it, you have to use a very thick um, moisturizer because it will leave your skin feeling a little on the drier side. So that was the only thing I didn't love about it. But 
other than that, I like it. I like it. I thought it was good. I love the way it smells and it just, it works great. Um, that's the only downside to it, but I'm naturally dry and I naturally put on thick moisturizer. And once I do that, my skin feels amazing and it's fine. So I, I think I will definitely, I'm on a hunt of a new cleanser just cause I love trying new stuff, but definitely I think I'll go back to this because I really do like it. I know that you can get, I got mine at Ulta. No, at Whole Foods. Sorry, I got mine at Whole Foods, but I know that now they sell it at Target, and it's for the same price. So, yeah, those are the two places where you can find this. The next item I have is a body scrub. It's kind of dingy, so sorry, guys. It's the uh, Tree Hut as well, just like the uh, moisturizer. It's the same brand, and this one is in Tropical Mango dirty um this stuff oh my god you guys it smelled uh amazing and it even made your shower smell good which i love um body scrubs are super important you need to scrub your face i mean your body just how you you know exfoliate and scrub your face it's the same thing with your body it's skin um your skin is the log largest organ so therefore they're you have to take care of it. Um, and it's the one everybody sees. So um, that was the reason I bought this. Um, I thought it smelled great and it exfoliated amazingly. My only downside to this was that um, usually when I buy body scrubs, I notice that they are very, they have oils in it. So it leaves your skin moisturized and it leaves it, um, it you don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it just leaves it nice and moisturized and it's kind of on the oily side so it kind of feels good on your skin after you had, you know, scrubbed it. And this one didn't do that for me. It didn't do that at all. Um, it scrubbed great, but it, it, I, it didn't have any oils in it so I didn't feel soft and moisturized after. So that's the only reason why I don't think that I'm going to be repurchasing this at all. Um, I love the smell, but I, again, I can get it off the lotion so I don't think I need it for that. That. and um, I have like DIY body scrubs that I've been meaning to do so I'd probably just do one on my own that's more moisturizing and just think better um, it's not that pricey but it's just I don't think it's just worth it for me so this not 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 love so much let me do one last item before this video gets extremely long um, I have another hair care item here. It's the L'Oreal. I'm sorry. It's just it's been sitting in that bag for a while. It's the L'Oreal Total Repair Extreme Emergency Mask. And this stuff, um, it's supposed to extremely... It's supposed to help with extremely damaged and overprocessed hair, which is what I have. I mean, I've been bleaching my hair and processing it and just doing all kinds of stuff to it for a long time um so this is supposed to help with that um I didn't love this honestly I did not actually I didn't really like it at all um first of all the smell it smells like paint like literally it paint and not any good kind of paint at least that's what it smelled to me and it wasn't thick at all it was very light and I didn't find that it was in extreme conditioning I didn't feel like it repaired anything I just I just didn't like it at all actually um so I really don't think that I'm going to be repurchasing this um the L'Oreal other other uh, hair care stuff that they have like their shampoos and their conditioners and even like hairsprays and stuff like that I seem to really like um but this particular one not so much I didn't like it at all actually I did finish it just because I had bought it and I figured why not give it like a full try but I just it just did nothing for me so I was kind of sad about that but oh well so that's going to be it today because I don't want this this video to be extremely long. Um, so yeah, so just remember to comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you like this video so I can do more and I can know that you liked it. Remember that my blog will be linked below, Rose Villa Beauty, where there's, um, where I post, I try, I'm trying to post every single day and it's a bunch of different kind of skincare makeup beauty fashion all kinds of fun stuff um and yeah so i hope that you enjoyed and that you learned something and until next time bye guys